Probably for over a year now, I've been working on this fantasy surrealist landscape scene, just adding elements to it as I find time. I'm really excited with where it's going. I really like how the Blue Jay came along and I've been putting out videos with, uh, you know, as I'm adding elements. And this is kind of where the painting is right now. But in today's video, I want to share with you all my approach to the background. I had this sort of generic jungle background uh, already in the scene and I wanted to try to push it a little further and make it a little more interesting. So I just started sketching, you know, just trying to push my work further. Sometimes I'll just sit down and sketch and try to see if I can come up with a better idea. And I came up with this idea of layering in sort of these outlines of different creatures and symbols. And if you've seen my videos before, you probably will see a theme here that um, I like to hide things in my paintings. I like to include things in my paintings that have uh, personal meaning to me. And uh, so usually they're just, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of double meanings and literal layers uh, and figurative layers of, of content. So when I look at this, I start to think of, you know, people that have influenced me like Doze Green and all sorts of things like Looney Tunes. I'm sure um, lots of different pop culture references or styles are making their way into my work uh, these days. It just, this stuff comes from your subconscious sometimes and it's hard to know you know exactly where it all comes from but this painting is really an experiment and I'm just trying to have fun with it and do something a little more interesting for, for me personally uh, I, I haven't done a lot of paintings like this and uh, when this background in particular I got excited about this idea of layering in imagery that at a first glance someone you know might not notice or they might just see trees or jungle or an abstract sort of pattern, but the closer you look, then you start to see these images that reveal themselves. In some cases, um, they're just instinctual drawings. They're just, you know, doodles and they don't really mean much of anything, but in most cases they have some kind of a connection, a personal connection to, to my life. Technique wise, you know, all I'm doing here is taking a liner brush and just uh, with several different colors, uh, purple, dark greens, some yellow, just a variety of, of different colors, just building up line work on top of line work. Uh, in some cases, I'm actually writing a uh, word as well as, you know, in addition to the images. And I'm not trying to be careful with this. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm not following uh, anything in particular. I'm just just kind of doodling. Yeah, I'm having a really fun time with this painting. Like I said, I, I, I want it to feel magical. I want to feel it to feel like it's another world. Um, you know, I'm looking back on this now and I'm, I've obviously moved past this point with the painting and I've added lots of other objects and, and characters and I'm still evolving the painting as, you, as it goes along. But I'm excited with where it's going and the story in my mind is sort of starting to come together um, it's really going to be uh, about sort of breaking down barriers and, and adventuring uh, sort of beyond your limits, um, escaping, you know, one world and facing challenges and, and working your way into um, other, other worlds, if you will. And uh, I came back after uh, I had layered on quite a bit of, of this, uh, this, this doodle work, if you will. I came back with a, a green gold glaze and sort of hit the whole thing with, with that glaze to kind of tie it all together. You know, I love this idea of exploring and escaping and um, just finding surprises and, and overcoming, you know, challenges that, that are thrown before you. And I think a little bit of all of that is sort of wrapped up in this painting. Having said all that, it, it really is just an experiment. I'm just trying to practice and play with images that excite me and um, combinations of images that excite me and I want to learn how to to paint in the style so that I can uh, become an even better you know storyteller visually I'm trying to figure out what to call it what to name it I have a few names in mind I may have to do sort of a working title because I want to tie all the videos I've made so far uh, around this painting in particular and the ones that are to come for this painting I, I want to be able to make a playlist and um, have it, have people watch them you know in order if they want Here's kind of where the painting is as of today. So there'll be more videos coming out in the near future. 
uh, showing how I added the honeybees and the, the golden finch and the ladybugs and everything else. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like this content. If you do like this, please let me know. Uh, it helps me understand uh, what I need to make in the future for you all. And please like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day. Peace.